Now that the dust has settled on what was a frantic weekend, the first event of the 2022 World Rally Championship will no doubt go down in history as one of the most mesmerising editions to date. <laughs> new cars, new technology, new regulations. It all meant it was a blank slate for the teams. And when all was said and done, it was the greatest of all time. Sebastian Loeb at the age of 47 who walked away from the south of France clutching yet another of those coveted Monte Carlo crowns. But how did he do it? The rally began on Thursday night with a couple of spectacular night stages often illuminated by the flares and fireworks of those fervent rally fans. It was the first time these new hybrid cars had been driven in competition. Loeb in his new M Sport Ford Puma was fast, but he already knew there was room for improvement. This one we did a good stage, the previous one was a bit uh, more careful in the, in the ice, uh, I was a bit afraid that it's freezing. And so it was Sebastian Ogier who held the overnight lead. The Seb versus Seb battle we were all hoping for was well and truly teed up. The first full day of rallying dawned and Loeb leapt out of the blocks on Friday morning and he turned the tables on his compatriot, winning four stages during the day and snatching the overall rally lead. It was also becoming clear that many drivers were struggling to adapt to the new cars and the new technology. By the end of Friday's first loop, the gap to the podium positions was starting to look like a tough ask for the chasing pack. The car is working really well, so I'm confident in the car and uh, so I, for sure I tried to push. But he slipped off the pace on the final two stages on Friday. Teething troubles with the new hybrid technology was to blame as the system's engine boost failed the Frenchman. Nevertheless, Loeb still finished the day holding a slim 9.9 second advantage over Ogier. At the moment we are still leading, it's, it's not a big gap, but uh, happy to be leading after the first day. With batteries both metaphorically and literally recharged, Saturday's action got underway. But Loeb found himself off the pace from the get-go, unable to replicate his Friday morning dominance and Ogier began to reel him in. A win on stage 10 meant the two greats incredibly joint-led the rally, both with exactly the same overall time. Are we going to see a lead change here? <laughs> oh, I do not believe it! They are on exactly the same overall time. Seb, six and a half seconds slower than Sebastian Ogier in there. You're equal on time now, on the rally. OK. <laughs> then came the formidable 20.8 kilometres of saint genet to Tuard. Five kilometres of ice and snow at the top of the mountain, sandwiched between 15 kilometres of dry road. This was real Monte Carlo. The dilemma? Run the dry tyre, blast up the tarmac section, but then have zero grip on the ice, or run the winter tyre with better grip on the snow, but sacrifice speed on the asphalt. As usual, it was a gamble. Both front runners chose a mixture of the two, and it was Auger who completed fastest to regain the rally lead. And with third place Elvin Evans going off the road, Rally Monte Carlo became a two horse race. Where can we go from here now? This was the key stage of the day and for the second pass in the afternoon loop, Loeb made a last minute change and bolted the dry tyre to his Puma. Ogier spotted it and made the same change. It wasn't the right move, the studded tyre was still the one to run. It cost both drivers time but Loeb was the more cautious of the pair. Advantage Ogier. I, I start to know him, you know, after all these years, and I was guessing he would try something, you know. So I was I was waiting a bit to see him on the road section, and then I see just before the start that he was going to go with slicks. The final day of the rally, and by now Loeb was trailing Ogier by 24.6 seconds. After the optimism of Friday, it seemed his luck was out. But in a split second, everything flipped on its head. 
Um, drama yeah, yeah. on the well, penultimate yeah. stage yeah. here. Oh, I'm sure it's, it's sure the tyre's going oh, down or four. something is happening in that front left. Heartbreakingly for Auger, on the penultimate stage of the rally, he picked up a front left puncture and was hemorrhaging time. Loeb found himself leading by 9.5 precious seconds with just one stage left. To make matters worse, Auger then received a 10 second jump start penalty on the power stage. And with the running order reshuffled, Loeb had the luxury of driving last on the stage. He played it smart, bringing his Puma to the end. It's so close. The countdown to OGA's time has already started. Oh, oh, oh nine seconds. That's a low win. His first win since 2018. So, after a battle of the ages, Loeb took his eighth Monte Carlo win. The greatest of all time? Well, that debate may rumble on. Let us know in the comments section what you think. There's no question, though, his display in Monte Carlo was simply phenomenal.